Having a tracheostomy means you may be more susceptible to infections. Some of these infections may need IV antibiotics. Thankfully, administering IV antibiotics is safe, easy, and can be done in the comfort of your own home. You will need a handful of supplies and an IV line, such as a midline, a pick line, or a port a Join me this week as I discuss in a step-by-step -step fashion how to administer IV antibiotics at home. If your antibiotic needs to be refrigerated one hour before you plan to infuse the antibiotic, please take it out of the refrigerator and allow it to warm up to room temperature. Please do not infuse the medicine when it is cold. Cold liquid will put a tremendous amount of strain on your IV line and may cause it to crack. If you are going to be administering IV antibiotics on yourself, it is extremely helpful if you have an extension on your line. This is the length of a regular pick line. As you can see, it's very short and very hard to hold with both hands. I can't quite reach. By adding this extension to your line, you can see now I can easily hold it with both hands. To add this extension to your line, please contact your nurse or your doctor's office. Before administering the antibiotics, you will need the following items. You will need your antibiotic at room temperature, four alcohol wipes, two saline flushes, one heparin flush, gloves, which are optional, and an optional disinfectant cap. When laying out your supplies, it is often best to place them in the order you will use them. The acronym many use is called SASH. It stands for saline, antibiotic, saline, heparin. Before administering your antibiotics, it is best to get all your flushes set up. Each flush will come in a plastic package. Simply break open the package. Once the flush is out of the package, you're going to need to break this airlock inside. To do this, you're going to simply unscrew the top, but do not remove the cap. Keep it attached, and then you're going to pull back on the stopper. As you can see, there's going to be more air introduced. Once the seal is broke, then you're going to carefully and slowly push the stopper back up until all the air is out. Once all the air is out, you're going to simply twist back the cap. Do not put it on very tight, just enough that it's snugly on there and then you're gonna have this all set up for your use. Now you're gonna to wanna to do this with all your things. First your, your saline, now you have another saline. Do the same thing. Open it, loosen the cap, pull back on the stopper, and then once again, get all the air out, and then twist back the cap. And then also your, your heparin, you're gonna do the same thing. Open up the packaging, loosen the cap, let up, break that seal, and then let out all the air, and then twist back the cap. Now your flushes are all set up for when you need to use them. Before beginning administration of your antibiotics, please wash your hands. Wash them thoroughly, wash them for approximately 20 to 30 seconds, and once you've washed them, please dry them thoroughly on a nice clean towel. Once you've washed and dried your hands, please refrain from touching your face or touching anything else which may soil them. If you want an extra layer of protection, please feel free to use gloves. Gloves will help reduce the risk of infection and they're just very handy to have to keep your hands nice and clean. When you're ready to begin, you're going to want to remove this cap on the end of your IV line if you have one. If you don't have one, don't worry about it. Uh, before removing this though, I want to show you a little technique. When you're holding the end of your line, please make sure you hold it approximately right here and you're going to want to hold it with your index finger around and then your thumb. And this is going to be nice and sturdy. So when you put on the flushes, it's going to be nice and sturdy. Please don't hold it down here because once you do it down here, I'll show you, put this flush on, it's going to move all over. And please don't hold it in this top area because this is going to be sterile. So once you're ready to begin, please put your index finger around like this and then your thumb. And you're going to have a nice tight grip and you're going to use your fingers to help with everything. So I'm going to show you how this is done. So once you have this nice and tight, take off the end of your cap. Now you're going to want to disinfect the end of your line. You're going to just continue holding the cap like this. 
open everything with using these fingers. Open it. Take out your alcohol swab and then you're going to want to swab. Really clean the end of this. You're going to want to clean it for approximately 30 seconds. You're going to scrub, scrub, scrub and then try to really get this end, this top right here, you're gonna try to really get into there. Um, just scrub and scrub and scrub and keep scrubbing and keep going for approximately 30 seconds. Once you're done disinfecting the end of your line, you can discard the alcohol swab. Now be careful not to touch anything to the top of this line. It's now sterile. Um, before you're gonna infuse the saline, you wanna make sure there's any locks are removed. You might have some locks down here on your line. You're gonna make sure they're clipped open. As you can see, I have a, a little clip here. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that this is open. You just clip it. So now this is able to slide up and down and now your line is gonna be open. So without touching the top of this, you're gonna to touch your saline flush. You're gonna take it approximately right here. Don't hold your saline flush down here because you're gonna have less control when putting on top and you're gonna maybe miss. And then also do not touch this top, it's all sterile. So right about here is a good place to touch it. Once you have it in, in firm grasp, you're gonna take your pinky finger and you're gonna unscrew the top just like this. Once it's unscrewed, very carefully, you're gonna put the two ends together. And when you do this, you're gonna push down. It's just gonna go down into the top, I'll show you. Like this and it's gonna go down. Once it's down, you're gonna screw into place, and once it's screwed into place, it's gonna be <laughs> not going anywhere. Once it's like this, you're gonna push approximately one to two milliliters, as I'll show you on here. Approximately one to two milliliters, you're gonna infuse. So there we go. Saline is slowly going in. And once you have approximately one to two milliliters, you're gonna to check to see if there's blood return in your line. Um, I'll show you. So once you're gonna pull back, pull back on the line, and as you do this, you're gonna see that there's blood now in my line. This is good because this tells you that there is a blood return and everything's in place. So as soon as you see this, you're gonna to want to just infuse all the saline and it's gonna flush all that blood out and make it nice and clean inside. Once the saline is all infused, you're gonna to want to disconnect. Now this, you're just gonna twist off and you're gonna put the cap back on very easily like that and you're done with this, you can throw it away. Now make sure you do not touch anything on top. You're gonna to wanna to disinfect again. Here's another alcohol swab. You're gonna to wanna to open it. Again, using these fingers, you're just gonna open, take the alcohol swab out, and you're gonna to wanna, to, again, disinfect. So scrub, 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 for approximately another 15, 20 seconds. When you're done disinfecting the top of your IV line, you're gonna to wanna to discard your alcohol swab. And then next, pick up your IV antibiotic. Now again, please hold the IV antibiotic right here. Do not hold it all the way down here and keep away from the top, which is a sterile area. So hold it right here and you're gonna to wanna, to, again, twist off the top. Very easy like this. You're just gonna to wanna to set the cap down. There we go. And then now you wanna connect. Again, you're gonna push down and then turn to lock in place. So we're gonna go, push down, turn, lock, now it's there. Now you're gonna to wanna to read on your instructions for your IV antibiotic, how fast you're going to infuse this. For me, this antibiotic is supposed to be infused over the approximately five minutes. So you're gonna look, there's 20 milliliters. So over the five minutes, you're gonna infuse uh, four milliliters per minute. So you're just gonna start very, very slowly and you're just gonna count um, you know, one milliliter per 15 seconds and you're gonna keep doing this until it's all infused. And remember, just go very, very slowly and we'll see you in a couple minutes. The IV infusion is now complete. You're going to want to disconnect this. Simply again, unscrew it, and you can discard this by throwing it away. Now you're going to disinfect the top again. Again, open up the, the alcohol swab and scrub, scrub, scrub for another 15 to 20 seconds. Once you're done disinfecting the top of your IV line, you can discard the alcohol swab and now you're gonna pick up another saline flush. Again, holding it approximately right here, you're gonna unscrew the top like that. And again, push down, screw into place, and you're going to infuse all the saline. Again, you don't have to go very, very slow, but you don't go very, very fast. Just infuse it at a nice rate. Again, flushing out all the antibiotic, which may be in your line. Once the saline is all infused, you're gonna again unscrew and discard this. Next, you're gonna pick up another alcohol swab. Again, open up the package, 
get out the alcohol swab and scrub, scrub, scrub for another 15 to 20 seconds. When you're done disinfecting the top of your IV line, you can discard your alcohol swab and pick up your heparin. Again, hold the heparin down here, untwist, and push down, twist on, and infuse the heparin. When the heparin is done infusing, you can unscrew this and discard the heparin flush. You are now done infusing your antibiotics. One last thing I suggest are these alcohol disinfectant caps. These are really nice to put on top of your line to keep it clean. And I'll show you, you just peel off this top like that. And you're just gonna screw this on top. Voila. <laughs> and this will help keep your uh, end of your line nice and clean and it'll help prevent infection. Once you're done with everything, remember also to clamp your line. So you're gonna take this and just see if you can see that and clamp and it is all done and congratulations you are done infusing your IV antibiotic thank you so much for joining me please remember to like and subscribe down below i hope you have a great day and a wonderful week bye bye